So Jesus was preparing them for a regime in which he will be invisible. It will interest you to know that the way the ministry of Jesus was shaped and the impact he had, the style, the strategy when he was visible was going to be a bit different in the season where he is invincible. For instance, when Jesus was vis physically present, there was no need for fasting. I know most of you would have loved that regime. <laughs> but you see, a time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away. In that season, your spiritual arsenal is going to be quite different from what it is. Fasting will become a requirement. Are you there? Now, those days, if you wanted to consent that this man was born blind, that was inquiry. Jesus will just reach back into antiquity and download everything. So there was no need for you to fast in order to achieve that. Seeking God was as, it was as easy as getting a ticket and flying to Jerusalem. Are you with me? But a new regime was about to come. And Jesus wanted to educate them on how to survive. The first thing he emphasizes is love. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And, and the proof of obedience in this wise, love, the proof of love is obedience. So in the day when we are dealing with the invincible Jesus, because we get to contact Jesus, connect with Jesus, know the mind of Jesus through the person of the Holy Spirit. If you, if you, if you take inventory of how Jesus introduced the Holy Ghost and the things that the Holy Ghost would do, if you had studied it very well, the book of John chapter 16, you will find out that the Holy Spirit actually is going to function in a neutral capacity. He's not bringing his preferences to us. He's bringing, making us to be able to contact Jesus. He said he will re receive of mine, oh, you know with me, and he will give it unto you. It's just like this public address system. It doesn't change what I'm saying. It just makes what I'm saying available to your hearing. So the Holy Spirit provides the, the infrastructure. It provides the capacity for us to be able to engage the invincible Jesus. The Holy Spirit does not bring his own pre preferences to mix with the will of Jesus. It just creates the infrastructure for that connection to, to still exist so that we can link up with the office of the Christ and come under the full influence of his administration and become empowered by his grace. Are you there? So the first thing he says in this new regime is the proof of love being obedient. Are you there? Is it possible for you to be a believer that no one is supervising, but you are right with God? You are walking with God. Yeah, all right? If you have achieved that, the reason why you are living that way is because your love for Jesus is revealed by your obedience to him. Jesus preached about obedience and all of that, but Jesus knew that um, this guy, Judas, was stealing money. And I never saw that he rebuked him. Are you there? But when Jesus was going to become invincible, the matter of obedience became very critical. If you love me, what do you do? So the proof of love is obedience. The proof of trust is dependence.
because he is invincible, you will need to engage him by faith. So the way to walk with him is to trust him. And the proof that you trust him is that you can take him at his word and match 